Hi, welcome to Loving Life Hitch Stuff. I'm Red and this is TJ. And today you're going to watch a video on how my husband knows how to catch a toad. I'm not sure how he learned that. How'd you learn that? Well, as a kid, uh, growing up, I used to go camping quite a lot with the Boy Scouts, Sea Scouts, and uh, just with family. So we spent a lot of time keeping ourselves busy before the internet and all that great stuff. So any opportunity to chase lizards, snakes, frogs, go fishing, whatever it was, we were all over that. Um, and it just became a little something we do. So, you know, growing up, whenever you had an opportunity to chase something crawling on the ground, me and my brothers and, you know, my friends, we were all over it. Well, my friends and I were not exposed to frogs, maybe ceramic frogs, maybe plush frogs, but never real frogs. And on this RV trip, I've probably heard and seen more frogs than I have in my entire life before this. I know we were in South Carolina at a harvest coast at a place called Weeping Radish. And before we're going to sleep, we opened up the windows, it was a nice breeze. And all of a sudden, I was like, what is that sound? And it was a serenade of frogs, right? Yeah, there were frogs all over the place. There had rained a little bit just before that. So uh, the, the puddles and everything were, were all over the place. So we we're inundated with uh, all sorts of uh, frogs. But you know what, they lulled me to sleep. And it was but in this case, this is a toad, not a frog. What's the difference? So the difference between a toad and a frog, toad spends most of its life on the land. Um, they tend to be bumpier or, you know, uh, rougher skin, where most frogs are very streamlined and sleek, kind of look like a wetsuit, a uh, frogman, that little, you know, phrase. But a toad tends to be a little more uh, coarser or bumpy around the outside. Not sure which one you kiss to turn into a prince, but then again, I'm not looking for a prince, so it's all He good. was a prince already. <laughs> so while setting up camp in Cape Henlopen, I noticed on the ground a small toad. I thought it would be really cool if I would be able to capture the toad for the video. And therefore, I uh, used my old technique I learned when I was a young kid to try to get the toad to hop in a circle, uh, allowing you to... Uh, be able to capture it much easier. They're much faster in a straight line like a snake or a lizard. So once you get them going in a circle, uh, it's much easier to capture the toad. And as you can see, the uh, toad was not harmed. It's a cute little guy or girl, not really sure. And this particular toad goes out to our 50th subscriber to Loving Life Hitched Up, one of my best friends for the longest of time, Eddie G. This is little Eddie G. Where'd you learn how to do that? Watching Crocodile Hunter on TV. I didn't let him go. How did you do that? I don't even know how you Little Eddie G. <laughs> He's cute. You gonna kiss him, turn him into a prince? No. That would be your job. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I From afar. A frog. Hey, buddy. You good? This guy was nice enough to pose for some close-ups, but listened to him very closely. And as I was leaning in, all I could hear him say was, it's not easy being green. You've never held a frog. It was a toad. No, I don't want to hold a frog. It's you okay. Hold a toad? No, you thank you. You just hold me and let him down. Uh, how about if I stay behind the camera and you let him go? Really? It's just a toad. What do you want me to do? I don't give you warts. I know wives' tale. <laughs> well, how about if I just hold the camera? How about I just put them in your hand? Uh, how about you just put them on the ground? One last chance, and I gotta let them go. Let them go. 